Hello and welcome! I am that James Guy and today we're doing a, another one of those division design template guides. And this time around we are looking at tank designs, both superior firepower and also mobile warfare. One thing I will note, if you can hear anything in the background, then it is there's a builder doing some building-y things. So if uh, that gets in the way, I apologise, there isn't much I can do about that I'm afraid. So apologies in advance. It's gonna turn that up ever so slightly. There we go. That should be a bit better. So, where were we going? We were looking at some tank templates. So I've set Britain up as superior firepower and I've set Germany up as mobile warfare. So we can look at the sort of six important tank templates. They are obviously shared. You've got heavies, mediums, and the marine landing slash uh, river crossing tank. So first of all, we're going to look at heavies and with superior firepower. So much like the infantry template with superior firepower, you want to maximize your support companies. Um, I typically like rocket RT and RT to get as high a soft attack as possible. And then also the anti-air. I don't bother with the AT company, it's absolutely pointless. Um, I've got the... Sub their medium AA, that is an absolute mistake, those should both be heavy SPAA in retrospect, there we go. Um, so your heavy tank template, uh, you want to aim for over 30 org, but not too much over with superior firepower, so 35.9 is about right. This is effectively an 8 to uh, 10, uh, the, the two being the SPAA. If you've definitely guaranteed got green air, then you could modify this and do 1010, which gives you slightly more org um, and slightly more stats. But if you don't have green air, then you're going to want the anti air attack, basically, um, just to clap their uh, close air support or attack bombers or whatever. Um, it's got higher average stats but lower org than the uh, mobile warfare divisions. And it's a little bit cheaper because you're pushing the cost from the tanks onto the extra mechanized to match up with the to get to get to the usable org basically. Uh, superior firepower is more at risk of being right clicked because of its lower org limit. However, that's not usually a major problem because you can tend to be mostly on the offensive. But you've got to be more careful with picking your engagements. Next up, we will look at the superior firepower medium tank division. Now, again, you're looking for that same slightly higher org level. And with medium tanks, again, the cost is much cheaper with medium tanks, so you can put more factories onto planes or just have more divisions. But you are going to need the two upgunned medium tank destroyers. Otherwise, you are going to have problems piercing heavy tanks. Um, I haven't actually upgunned anything in this test, so bear in mind that this is actually slightly lower than it should be, but you should ensure that your tank destroyers and your medium tanks are both fully upgraded with level 5 AT armor armament on the anti-tank destroyer and also level 5 main gun on the medium tank. And then that gets your piercing up to 95, which should just about be enough to pierce a heavy tank division. If it's not, then you have to start adding in more TDs, basically. Um, again, we've got the AA in here. Uh, that's because if you're harbouring under red air, you will need it. But if you don't have red air, you can drop that media, the, the two AAs, and put in an extra medium tank, basically. And as I said before, that will actually increase your stats very slightly, but obviously massively reduce your anti-air defense and your air attack. So next up, the third and final superior firepower design, the river crossing slash marine landing template. There's a few variations to this one, but they all basically rely on replacing the Amtraks, uh, the mechanized with Amtraks to give you bonus attack when you're doing amphib landings, and also to reduce your river crossing penalty massively. Um, one option is, again, you keep the heavy SPAAA and the extra heavy tank. 
An alternative is dropping the heavy SPAA, replacing it with heavy SPGs and dropping a tank away. This actually increases your soft attack but decreases all your other stats. However, it does mean you get a 10% amphib bonus so your soft attack does go quite high when you're doing marine landings. And with the engineer and makeshift bridges, you will actually get bonus attack over rivers rather than the penalty. Um, so this is very good for landing in Normandy, under green air, and also landing and crossing the Rhine, the Meuse, the Dial, all the rivers in sort of Western Germany and on the Western Front into uh, the Netherlands. And if you're playing as Germany, which will come to the Mobile Warfare equivalent, also great at crossing the uh, Stalin line on the plains tiles in these sorts of lanes of attack here, 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 and here, and also down in this way here as well. So very, very strong for a number of reasons. But yeah, those are the superior firepower designs. We'll now tag over to Germany and look at the mobile warfare equivalents. Again, we've got mediums, heavies, and Amtrak tonks. With Mobile Warfare, the biggest thing that you gain is the ability to have less mechanised and more tanks, which does increase your stats considerably. This is the heavy tank design. I've got motorised recon in here. You can also grab armoured car recon if you desire, or light armoured recon if you are being weird, but honestly my recommendation is either motorised or light armoured. The armoured cars are helpful with the extra recon. Um, Motorized is cheaper, so there, there are options available there, and typically you will have a stockpile of trucks. But you notice we don't have the support companies because we've got our org up much higher, so you're at less risk of being right-clicked, but the template is considerably more expensive than superior firepower, and you're making up for that by having more tanks and therefore more base stats. Especially breakthrough, um, but your actual soft attack and hard attack is slightly lower. Again, you've got the SPAA. Typically, if you're playing Mobile Warfare, you will be playing as Germany or Russia. Both nations will be operating under Red Air a lot of the time, late war. So the heavy SPAA is pretty much a hard requirement just to make sure that you don't get done by air attack. And one strong recommendation would be to upgrade the anti-air armament on your Whirlwind, on your Tier 3 heavy SPAA. So now for the Mobile Warfare Medium Tank, much the same as the Allied one, or the Superior Firepower one rather, but you've got the two TDs, the two SPAA, more tanks, so you're running four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten medium tanks, two TDs, two SPAA, and then seven mechanized, just to keep that org slightly higher. You could, if you're being brave drop a mech out and add another medium tank. Personally, I find that this will hurt you in the long run and you're better off having the slightly extra HP and uh, org if you're doing the medium tanks. Otherwise, you will just get right-clicked like mad by opposition tanks. So that's your medium tank design. And then again, we've got the Amtrak tonk which, as Germany has a 20, or as Mobile Warfare has a 20% penalty, which is completely negated by having Engineer or having um, makeshift bridges. Obviously, that relies on Engineer, but that way you can cross the uh, river lines with ease. The Amphib bonus is massively reduced, though, so this really is only for crossing rivers if you're going Mobile Warfare. Again, we've got the SPAA. It's kind of a hard requirement, slightly higher org, and slightly lower base stats with higher breakthrough than a superior firepower division. So that's it for your tank templates. One other key thing to note, they're all 40 width. Remember the most important thing, the, the sort of cardinal rule of Hearts of Iron 4. If it's attacking a thing, 40 width. If it's defending a thing, 20 width, with a few exceptions. The only other template I would like to discuss is the straight mechanized template which is both defensive and offensive we're just going to give ourselves a batch of xp here and just quickly whip one together so 
what you want with the uh, straight mechanized template is quite literally mech the days. Now, this template is mostly useful for um, <clears throat> nations like Canada or Hungary. Um, you will want to do it as a minor as opposed to a major because you're better off with the tanks. It's considerably cheaper. But the massively high defense stat that you get with this makes them great for holding positions, especially with the Mobile Warfare Doctrine, and you get a lot of Org. They will hold four days. And I've been caught out by this template. Um, granted, a superior firepower version as Japan, where Canada had five of these divisions across Singapore in the two, uh, sorry, four in the two jungle tiles there, the jungle here and the mountain here. They were sat on like two and a half to three K defense and I could not break them. It was physically not possible. The only way I pushed into Singapore was by forcing the Canadian mech to move up into the Raj after doing a strong push to uh, Dakar and into towards Calcutta, which distracted them enough for me to make some moves on Singapore. But that mechanized defense template is very, very strong indeed. But yeah, those are the templates that you're going to want to use for your tanks, for your hard hitters, for your heavy offense divisions. And if you do have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments. Any other recommendations for division design, I am open to and will always pick up on them. And remember, these are great for multiplayer, but also good for single player. And if you want to find out more, check me out on Twitch, where I stream my multiplayer games and my sort of theory crafting sessions. And also on my Discord server, links down in the description, where you can sign up for our multiplayer games and do other bits. Either way, I've been that James guy. Give yourselves a salute, and I will catch you on the other side.